The biggest barrier that prevents most people from getting into astrophotography is the expense of it. It's one thing to own a telescope, but it's another thing to also own a sophisticated tracking mount, an auto guider, a camera, a set of filters, a feather focuser, a dew shield, and plenty of the gizmos that will slowly suffocate your bank account. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I'm obsessed with amateur astrophotography. There's almost a personal kinship you develop with the universe when it's just you, your telescope, and no one else but trillions of stars. But as an amateur, you are severely limited by a number of factors. Money, time, clouds, money, late hours, cold temperatures, light pollution, and of course the most important one, which I don't think I've mentioned yet, money. money. But imagine having access to telescopes all across the globe located in the most pristine clear skies for as little as 70 cents a minute. Oh my God. Now imagine being able to point these telescopes wherever you want and capture detailed images like this for as little as $10. Images that belong to you, just you, and no one else. Well, if that sounds like it might appeal to you, then get ready, because this is my review of one of the world's biggest online remote observatories, Telescope Live. I'm Damon Scotting, and this is Astronomical. Telescope's live goal is to make astrophotography more accessible by simplifying the observation of celestial wonders. In astrophotography, there are a number of different barriers that we must overcome in order to image the night sky. These can vary from unpredictable weather, moon interference, time constraints, image quality issues, financial limitations, physical location constraints, and by far the most frustrating one in this list, light pollution. But all of these can be overcome through the use of their services. They offer remote imaging, which ensures users can utilize telescopes worldwide through the online platform, overcoming location-based issues. They provide an open data archive that allows you to eliminate time constraints, enabling you to focus on post-processing, and they guarantee quality. Each of the images will undergo rigorous quality control, and if compromised, new observations are scheduled or refunded. The service ensures ideal conditions. The platform's observatories are situated in prime locations to minimize weather and light pollution issues. And perhaps most importantly, they offer affordable packages, various cost-effective commitment-free packages in order to suit all of your different needs, with their cheapest membership option being just $4 a month. The first thing that I want to point out is also one of the biggest reasons that I've become so addicted to Telescope Live's services, and that is that they offer a free trial with a silver membership. More importantly, you don't have to give any credit card details to sign up. Nothing. So this means you can dip your toes and explore their features without feeling too much pressure. They will simply ask for your name, email address, and a password, and then boom, you're up and running, ready to access some space images. The bronze level is as cheap as chips, and it provides you with five credits a month, as well as the opportunity to grab their one-click observation datasets and access their tutorials. But if you are interested in taking sole control of their impressive collection of telescopes, then you're going to want to start with at least the silver plan, as this gives you access to advanced requests, which means you can explore the entire cosmos at your own free will. How exciting. The sky is no longer the limit. You receive 20 credits a month, which is enough to get you started. Whereas the gold plan, which is the one that I've been on for a while now, this gives you 50 credits a month, but its best feature to me is that you're given 20% off all advanced requests. That saves me like 100 credits a month, which is a huge difference. And then lastly, the main differences between the higher tiers are that you'll get more complimentary monthly credits and an even bigger percentage discount on your advanced requests. With the platinum plan providing you with 25% off and the diamond plan giving you an impressive 30% off. So let's say you finish this video and you jump straight onto their website to try it out for yourself. The best way to sign up for their service is to click the link in the description as this will automatically give you 50% off your first two months of membership. You can start things off with a seven day free trial. And since we are only on a free trial, we're given just five credits to kickstart things off. And we can't actually use any of the telescope since they are for paying members of level silver or higher only. But that's fine because One Telescope's Live's most impressive features is its vast library of telescope data. I mean, their collection is absolutely phenomenal. These are all images captured by their telescope services and retained solely by them. You can narrow down your choices by searching for a particular object, the coordinates of a certain region, a particular telescope, filters, object type. You can even narrow it down to the date of observation. Perhaps there was a comet passing on a certain date and you want to see data from that night. Maybe you have noticed something peculiar and you want to see if this was still present during previous observations. I mean, you might have spotted a supernova in your data and you just want to check with data before and just make sure you are right. 
You can choose from almost 6,000 unique observations in which their telescopes capture data in a variety of different filters with telescopes all across the globe. And the price they charge for these observations is actually insanely low given the context, with the vast majority costing less than one credit to grab. They do regularly image some exotic targets and from time to time indulge in creating mosaic images. So what they've done here is use one of their more powerful telescopes with a higher focal length to image the Pleiades, a target that can be easily observed with wide field setups. However, with these nine panels, you can stitch them together to create an incredibly high resolution mosaic image of the deep sky object, which is a really fun project to try out. I'm currently messing around with their Magellanic Clouds data, which is really cool. I wanted to see what the cheapest observations were, and surprisingly, there was a data set that was priced at zero credits. I think that might be a mistake to be honest, but nevertheless, I'm grabbing it. I've opted for a couple of Whirlpool Galaxy observations to grab with my five credits. You're then able to download the FITS files for each of these data sets, and once you do, you can then begin processing these images at your own leisure. After tinkering around with these images for 20 minutes in PixInsight and Photoshop, I managed to produce this image of the Whirlpool Galaxy, which I'm quite happy with. Now, these images are owned by Telescope Live, but the final version you create is yours alone. You are free to do with it as you wish. Want to auction off to charity? That's absolutely fine. All Telescope Live asks for is it uses reference their service whenever possible, i.e. data acquired through Telescope Live. Simple. These observations are available to every user, so it's not unique data. The unique part is how you decide to process and edit it yourself. But what if you do want your own photos? Snapshots taken of our cosmos that belong to you and you alone. Images captured of any object your heart desires, or perhaps just the most random locations in our night sky, simply because you're fascinated with what might exist within that region. Then advanced requests are perfect for you. Remember, you need to be a paying silver member or higher to use this incredible feature. Now I've clicked on new request and I think I would like to image M42, or as it's better known as the Orion Nebula. There have been other remote observatories that I've used in which they require you to find the coordinates of the object yourself, which can be such a pain, but with Telescope Live, you just click search coordinates and it finds it for you straight away. That's really helpful. Then on the next page, you have to pick which of their telescopes you wish to use for this observation. The list will only show telescopes that are capable of imaging the target. So let's say the target is well within the Northern Hemisphere, then telescopes located in Chile and Australia won't be able to see it, but the ones in Spain will be able to. Similarly, if the object is located behind the sun, then it will not show any telescopes available. For the record, your choices are a huge 24 inch telescope in Chile, an even bigger 27.5 inch telescope in Spain, as well as two identical, smaller, wide field setups in Australia and Spain. So here we can see the cost of using each of the telescopes. Please note that due to my gold membership, I actually get a 20% discount applied. Naturally, the larger and more expensive telescopes cost more to use. Now that we've chosen our telescope, we need to decide what kind of images we want to take. Our first decision is on which filters we want to use. Then we have to decide how long we should capture for. You have a range of options. The default is five minutes. I'm gonna change it to three minutes just to be different. And then I'm going to take six images through each filter. Conveniently, the calculations for the cost of these operations has already been done for us. We've clocked up 54 minutes of imaging time with a small amount dedicated to overheads, which is just the time spent where a telescope is slewing to the target, changing filters and other small but vital operations. I have chosen to use the super powerful Chi-1 telescope. Now it might need reiterating that this is a huge telescope, like outrageously big. We're talking about a rig that costs $200,000 you are now going to be pointing that telescope wherever you wish, and then you're going to start taking some very nice photos with a super advanced, highly specialized camera and set of filters. The images you then obtain will be free for you to download and do with as you so please. They are yours and yours alone. That's what makes this so special. I say this because due to this being one of the most powerful telescopes, it's going to cost us 88 credits to carry out this imaging session. But actually, we can save quite a bit of money here. Because on the next page, we're given some choices for when we would like these images to be taken. If we choose a time in which the moon is up and fairly well illuminated, then we could potentially save some money. Sorry, a lot of money. If we choose to image when the moon is between 75% to 100% illuminated, then our total price suddenly gets 75% cheaper. Meaning it's now going to cost just 22 credits to use this telescope for an hour. Obviously, this is with good reason. The brighter the moon is, the more of the night sky it washes away. But with that being said, as long as your target isn't too close to where the moon is located in the night sky, you can still take some very good photos at very low prices. 
This section is referred to as automated scheduling. The powers that be at Telescope Live will be keeping an eye on the weather and other scheduled observations to fit your automated observation in as soon as they possibly can. But if we want to be precise with our observations, we can click on custom scheduling and voila! We can simply drop our observation onto the timeline anywhere in this green region. The green region indicates when our target is visible in our night sky and can be imaged. The red represents another scheduled observation and the black is simply when the telescope is available to image since it's now dark enough, i.e. astronomical twilight. You can fine tune your observation however you wish and you can even plan well ahead. When I drop it on today's date, it gives me a huge discount thanks to the moon being almost fully illuminated. But say I want to avoid the moon completely from my observation, then I can do so by simply jumping forward by a couple of weeks and then placing my observation over here. Once I'm happy with it, I submit, then I'll get a confirmation email from Telescope Live and eventually another email alerting me to the outcome of my observation. In this case, it has been a success. I downloaded my data and that was that. Very simple and straightforward. Now let's take a look at some of the photos I've taken using Telescope Live's services. I've done my best to bring out as much detail and colour in my edits, but admittedly, I'm not very good. I've been meaning to set time aside to really develop an understanding of the best editing processes, as opposed to just mashing a bunch of different buttons and seeing what works out best. But if you're looking for a really well laid out platform that will explain all of this clearly for you, then look no further, because Telescope Live also has a number of video series about processing your images and a number of other relevant topics. If you want to learn more about space and particularly the objects you are imaging, then head over to their Academy section for more videos carefully explaining each of them. I quite enjoy scrolling through their gallery page in which users submit their images taken using Telescope Live. It can be very interesting seeing what others have been targeting or how they've chosen to process data from the one-click observations. Some users can get very creative indeed. In order to access the webinars, tutorials and Academy videos, you only need to be a paying member. Telescope Live prides itself on its cost effectiveness and it is made all the more apparent by their current birthday bargain promotion, which gives users up to a 60% discount on their credits. This is a two week sale in November that celebrates the founding of Telescope Live. But for the purpose of viewers who are watching this video during the other 50 weeks in the year, I'm going to be talking about their prices as they normally are. Now, if you're yearning to do some of your own personal exploration or editing of previous datasets, then you're going to likely need more credits than your plan provides you with. You can buy credits in bulk, and the way it works is that you will get them at a cheaper price the more you buy. So perhaps you just want enough to carry out a particular observation, or you have a lot planned in mind. Either way, you can choose which of these suits you best, and once you do, the credits are immediately deposited into your account and you can start your adventure. One super key point I really want to illustrate and I cannot stress this enough, the best way to sign up for their service is to click the link in the description as this will automatically give you 50% off your first two months of membership. That's effectively buy one month, get the second free. In fact, one way in which I'm fairly confident you could use this offer to maximize your advantage is by signing up for one of the higher paying memberships to start off with. Stay with me here. That way, you get the huge bonus of these complimentary credits upon signing up, but at half the price. Take the Diamond Plan, for example. Over your first two months, you would pay $250, but you'd get 500 complimentary credits and 30% off your observations. So that's 0.5 cents per point, which is way better than their buy credits offer. From then onwards, you can choose to downgrade or lower your membership tier to somewhere like gold or silver, saving you a lot of money. But the initial fund of 500 credits and 30% off all observations will mean that for $250, you can get a lot of observing done. Think of all the weird and wonderful things you can capture with this kind of budget. 
or the thousands of data sets you can now download and use for your own personal preference. Overall, I do generally enjoy using Telescope Live. As far as remote observatories go, Telescope Live offers you some of the best value there is. It is by far the simplest platform I have used. Right, as for things I think they can improve on. My main pet peeve, and this is by no means unique to them, is when companies charge different countries the same figure in different currencies. So being from the UK and being charged £1.40, whilst American users are being charged $1.40, that sucks. I'm paying 25p extra than American users. So I'd say rectify that, fix that, make it fair for everyone. Number two, it'd be kind of cool to maybe have a suggestion page on what deep sky objects to image tonight with different telescopes. Just like relevant suggestions and what's in a good position to observe tonight, and then an option to image it with just a click. Maybe that's just me not being very imaginative, but I thought that would be quite cool. Also, a mobile app. That'd be amazing. I can't believe no remote observatory has released a dedicated mobile app. Don't get me wrong, I mostly conduct my observations through the internet app on my phone, and it's still super easy. But a mobile app could provide a few more helpful features and send you insightful push notifications about your requests and what certain deep sky objects will cost to observe tonight. Some free data sets would also be very handy as well. Seeing the Rote Opioki data set available for free is quite cool. If you're a paying member, you're already paying for the service. So perhaps a collection of small free data sets with new additions being added every week or so. That's something that I think would be really cool. Yeah, it's, it's highly likely they've considered a lot of this stuff and it's turned out to not be very practical. But I figured I'd give my thoughts on the matter. If you have used them before, then I'd be very interested to hear your take on them and what it is that you think of their services and if there's anything you think that they could improve. Other than that, like I've already said before, I like them. I'm a big fan. The best way to sign up for their service is to click the link in the description as this will automatically give you 50% off your first two months of membership. You can start things off with a seven day free trial. Thanks for watching. I'm Damon Scotting and this was Astronomical.